Today is Friday, April 14th, 2023. We are heading up Beaver Brook today to the summit of Musalak. It's an out and back. It goes right along Beaver Brook and there's going to be more waterfalls. This is the first big one. It's about four tenths of a mile in. We're wearing snowshoes. Nobody else is that's out here. There were four cars, including ours, at the parking lot. But it's, we were post hauling like crazy. You might be able to see the trail is pretty choppy, so. Beautiful day. It was around 55 degrees at the car when we started at quarter to nine. Keeps going. Lovely. We are up above the junction with Asquam Ridge now. So it's still Beaver Brook, but I don't know if you can tell, this trail is a disaster and not a lot of fresh tracks on it. We met a guy who was coming out wearing spikes. I didn't see any snowshoes on him and he had done an overnight out here and he definitely post hold like crazy yesterday. Almost every single step is like eight inches deep. Some are more. It's not good. So I'm a little annoyed. <laughs> hike your own hike. It's really, really annoying. But I'm glad to have snowshoes and poles. We're leaving it better for when we come back. That's true. And we have to come back this way, so we'll make it even better. Yep. Yep. Anyway, this is a cool area of a spruce wave. I, I think it's really neat. We're about 1.3 miles from the summit, and that is the summit right there. And actually, the naked eye, I can see a sign and a huge cairn right in between these two trees right there. So I think as you're leaving the summit different directions, it'll say you are on Carriage Road or you're on Beaver Brook. So I think that might be the sign for Beaver Brook. And there are a whole bunch of ravens flying around up there too, and I hear one over next to me someplace. The trails in the sky are from the jets. The yes, world. I was just gonna say, there are military jets bombing around through here. Well, we they're not bombing. No, <laughs> <laughs> bombing in a figurative sense. Oh, look, is that Mount Washington right there? Yes, yes it is. I, I bet you can't see it on here. Jeez, so. In front of us, the there's three layers of mountains showing. Liberty and Flume are right in the foreground. And then behind that are, I guess, the Bonds? Actually, is it Kerrigan and the Hancocks? I can't tell. Should be, should be the Bonds, right? And then behind that is Mount Washington. Maybe that's the Lily Range. I don't even know. It's quite hazy in the distance. Oh, I don't even know if he's in my range now. Oh, there's another one right there. Wow. Hey. It was 
unable to zoom in well. I had already zoomed in before, so. I uh, didn't come back on, but. Okay, and there it is, the summit. Next stop. We just came out of the tree line. Right there, took off, the snow literally goes right to the tree line. Took off our snowshoes, Great Conia Ridge, Presidentials, Kerrigan. Quarter mile to the summit. Quarter mile to the summit. This is looking over towards Vermont. It's really quite hazy. There's the birds up here. Jets. It's really warm. We're sitting down, splitting a beer, enjoying the melodic rumble of fighter jets. I guess I would say 55, maybe. I don't know, maybe warmer. Okay, so we just took the temperature and it's 59.4.1, whatever. It moves around with the, with the wind, which is kind of weird, because why? But you do get a hot breeze when you're walking and a cold breeze, you do. Yep. It was very noticeable today. So right now it's 58 and a half. The wind speed is was max gust was five miles an hour. When we got here, there was one other person here. He had also come up Beaver Brook. I knew there was one person in front of us. And he didn't have snowshoes. He post holed the, our post holder. Yeah, he post holed the hell out of that foot thing. We cleaned it up pretty nicely. He's gonna go down ahead of us right now, so oh, we'll, we'll have to clean it up again. <laughs> and hopefully it'll be, I mean, uh, it is what it is. I just think he's gotta be exhausted, Yeah. personally. Some of those post holes were yeah, three feet deep, yep. multiple in a row, that's not good. Anyway, I'll get off my soapbox, except you don't have any business being out here without snowshoes, I'm sorry. It's a safety thing damn snowshoes and if you say that I'm gatekeeping because they're too expensive that's also bull so they're not that expensive save up don't buy some coffee or beer and then you can get a pair of snowshoes okay I'm done with my rant <sighs> but am I really I'll probably rant the whole rest of the way back no just kidding we are about a mile from the car now. So we're walking back along Beaver Brook for the rest of the time. Franconia Ridge right over there. And I think maybe Mount Wolf in the foreground and then the Kinsman's over there. And then Liberty and Plume. Actually, let me stop it and I'll zoom in. There we go. Yeah, Mount Wolf used to be on the 52 of the view, I believe. Really? I think so. And it's definitely on the New Hampshire 100 highest. So. 
Okie dokie. We are in post -ho hole hell. This is the trail. I mean, ugh, it's so bad. We're still wearing snowshoes because you're gonna, it's, you think it's worse if you don't have snowshoes on, but it's such a pain. Look how deep that is. It's like 10 inches deep. They are throughout the entire trail. And the killer of it is, it wasn't in that bad a shape this morning, except that there was someone who went up yesterday and overnighted. So that guy had post hold yesterday, and then the guy in front of us post hold. So there were only two people, and it was a mess. And now there's a third, and, and the other people have gone back out now. So it's like five sets of, of uh, bare boots. It's just, it is so deep. Look at those. The entire thing. Last guy was actually carrying snowshoes going up, which just, I don't even know where to start. But serenity now. We're only a mile from the car. It was a great hike, except the conditions were not wonderful, but we knew that. This is an interesting water formation on Beaver Brook. Water comes down, hits the bowl, and shoots up in a wave. So that's interesting. It's beautiful here. I don't really want to go over and get closer. It also looks like it's interesting down there. 